Hmm. Okay, now it says uh, go live. You're up now. Okay, now it's going. Oh, I like the old YouTube way. Now I see all these. When I go to my home page, I see all these live versions going. It's like three of them. All right, welcome board everybody, and um, oof, wow, beta is always a a, a tough launch, and uh, if you guys can hear me out there, let me know. And welcome board Ike, and um, everybody, there we go. It's if you guys can hear me okay and it looks all right, let me know. This should be transmitting in 1080. Let me click on one of them to see. So we're just sitting here. Okay, great. I can hear us. Thanks for joining us, guys. We are, let me check the settings good. It's in 1080. All right. And, uh, yep, Sideburns, we miss you. Welcome aboard, everybody out there. Saldrin, who was first. Old Sideburns and Jeremy Schaefer. Thanks for joining us. We're here in beta. And we're just getting set up beta. Starting up your beta is a, a long process. Since we only do it once a year, I kind of forget how to do it. So uh, first things you want to do, the very first things, and 40-year-old gamer, welcome back, is you want to do this when you get on the server. And I'm making this so that next time around, any of you guys that want to get on the beta, you'll know exactly how to do it. Because I, I've done it twice before, and I still get confused. Elish had to help me today. Donuts of Doom. That's right. And finally it's up. It took me a while to get the thing going. So here's the first thing you do. You'll start as a level one character in Crescent Reach. You need to do this. Beta buff. And so it can only be used on level one, but it'll show you the syntax. So you would go beta buff like this. See how I did this? Beta buff, Enchanter 115, and that'll get you all the way to level 115. It'll disconnect you right after you do that. After you're disconnected, you'll get to log back in. And the way you get back here is you use uh, Throne of Heroes. Next thing you want to do is you're going to get this red bag here. And you may notice, like, I didn't have a clear ice or anything like that. I didn't have a primary or an earring. You'll have a primary item that you can put in there. And uh, you have these other things too. There's a lot of stuff here. Um, change your gender. For those of you who want gender change or you, you want to switch back and forth, you can do that. And this is Amnesia. It'll offer you uh, a name change. So let's say you don't like your name. Uh, another thing you want to do when you start up the beta that's really important, and I'm going to show you this, uh, is copy over your layout. For example, you'll see right here, my layout used to be Nerdus on the test server. There's two files you want to bring. They both will have your name and the server you're on. So say you're on the Vox server or Fronivai, it'll have your name and like this. You want to take those two files from your previous EverQuest directory you're playing in, copy it into the beta download thing. You'll see the beta um, directory because it'll have an icon. You can right click that and say, open file location but copy those two files over so you can bring your own layout over keep in mind it will not take your spells but you can go ahead and put those spells in so do that adjust your sound level always set these settings to um, auto split auto consent group and do this this is really important to do and in addition uh, somewhere there um, uh, auto turn off afk i do this here you will notice that your merc is a J1 so you'll probably have to do J5 quests I recommend you do that to get the Merc because uh, J1 Mercs are gonna get just torn in half really fast second thing you want to do is with this gear here you'll notice that some of them have form of endurance right here like this here so you want to right click all the gear here and it'll do this it'll add passive AAs these passive AAs will show up in your effects screen Next thing you want to do is, once it says permanent, you don't have to keep these on here anymore because what they do, I want to show you here, is they give you this thing called item form of endurance. See some of them, 
I don't have like form of rejuvenation and whatever, but see, I have 21 out of 30 on endurance and defense. Those are important. So you can click all these off because you're going to need the space or buffs. Go like this. Once they're on, they're on. The rest of them you can keep like this. Then it's a process of setting up your spells, which can take a while. So for me, as an enchanter, the best way to do it is not to do not use a spell book. There's 50 million pages here. Go under here, right click the spell gem. Go down to detrimental in my case. And the, the next one I usually put up is a, a mez. So I'll use deceive because my my order goes like this. I tosh and then I hit deceive if this fails. I go to deceiving flash and I'll try to flash them. And this will cause us a flash. And then I'll go to this one and I want to set up a uh, area of effect mez. Neutralizing wave is what I'll go. This is for AE mez. You can also put a flash in there. And um, yes, uh, they didn't give me my 112 Necro Pet. Yes, Saldron, that's a problem. Is you'll notice, and I'm going to show you right here, is the pet they give you is uh, the weak one. So this is still 111 Pet, which is really weird. I think this is one from TOV Steel, but each year they make the pets later. So for example, if you're a mage, they may give you the weak pet. And every year it's, well, I mean, it's, I didn't do Burning Lands, but the other years. Yeah, see, here you go. Du, 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 du. Dun, dun, dun. So you guys notice that, uh, as Saladin mentioned out there, see that I have, oh, shoot, maybe I don't have the, this tiny dagger missing. Okay, duh. So anyway, wait, make sure you have the components. Maybe that's just my fupa there. I did not have that. So next thing you want to do is go and... Um, let me show you this. After I show you guys around and how to do this, next thing you want to do is uh, go through the long process of setting things up. Old Man Thorn is the guy you want to talk to. This guy here, right click him. When you right click him, get uh, TOV Group 2. They have the Trade Skill Group. I haven't checked that out, but once you get this fish, you're able to right click this and get that, and it'll give you one of these. You right click this, and it'll bring up a vendor. These glowing engraved Velian rooms. We'll give you the rank two spells. Let's see if I have rank two already. And I do. I already have the rank two, so I don't I don't need the spell gems. But they'll give you spell gems. In addition, you can get a whole bunch of other stuff to him from him. And you can talk to him and he'll send you somewhere. So if we talk to this guy. And see, look at this. He sends you. Okay, here's the zones, guys. Let me move away from here so you can actually see this. I'm gonna move back here so. Wow, oh my gosh. Okay, this is a list of zones you're going to have. You've got uh, Arena, of course, if you want to go to PvP. You've got Cobalt Scar, Western Way Sky Shrine, Dragon Necropolis, Temple Vishen, Sleeper's Tomb. And that's it. Eastern Waste again. Okay, so basically it's going to be all raid content. Cobalt Scar will be interesting to go to. It's going to see interesting, be interesting to see how they link it with Western Waste. Like what happened to, um, to what's that, Siren's Grotto. So I guess you just go over there. And Sky Shrine, oh my gosh, that's going to be, everybody's going to get lost there. And if they do have that maze in there, make sure you check out FC7 or EQ Chronicles video on how to get through the maze. Took me an hour. Dragon Necropolis, Temple of Vishen, Sleeper's Tomb. If you miss what these zones look like, we went to these zones before. And remove all lockouts so you can do this again. So this may be raid oriented. We'll see. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do now is you go to this guy here. And after you've right clicked all these items here, take a look in here. Because you did not have an earring called like soft white velvet. And you want to go down here and get those pieces like this. And you want to see what the difference is. So for example... This is a shoulders item. Let's go ahead and compare it. So right here, what you notice is this is a TBL one. It maxes out at 110. And with the two augs, you'll notice it's about on par with hit points and stuff. So you really want to get uh, the TOV one and put it in there. Also, you notice it has Myrmidon skill 10, and this has 11. So you want to upgrade all this, and this process is going to take a long time. But it's well worth it because... For the last betas I was in, the mobs are going to rip your face right off, and that's going to happen. So you want to make sure you have all your hit points. 
on the test server, my character has like 260 something thousand as an enchanter with a tank. You should probably be three, four hundred thousand, I guess. So you want to make sure you do get these upgrades here. And as you can see, everything costs nothing. I'm going to show you real quick. And after I show you this, we'll get back to the action. So you got this once again, and let's do a comparison. You will also have to summon an aug vendor to take these off because you can't take these off at all. So let's go ahead. Um, yeah, so look at this, Luck 7. This is already better. You want uh, the Luck. There you go, like that. So now what I would do is keep all these old whatever pieces, uh, these TBL pieces, and take the Augs off and put it on your thing because notice I have no Aug. But Luck 7 is good. Here we're up to Luck 41. As long as you get to about Luck 30, that's good. Everything else is all, in my opinion, diminishing returns. So... Uh, our strategy for this is we're going to get the, go do the J5 quest. We're going to get um, J5 Merc. We're going to go at one tank Merc, two healer Mercs, and each group will have three real players, three Mercs, two healer Mercs, one tank. That should keep the tank Merc up, and we're going to concentrate on DPS classes after that. But for now, it's a, a long process. The, the, the beta TS group would be kind of interesting. I don't know if that's good. Let me see. Uh oh, sorry guys, I got rid of the other one. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Oh, this has augs in it. So, what is this? Level 95 aug? Don't want that. Sort it by. Okay, so what is this here? Okay, this is a little better. This is the aug uh, vendor. But some of these augs you don't want. So, anyway, if you want augs. You go get this AUG here, and you can buy AUGs. Oh, there we go. Good, 950 hit points. So it's going to be a while. We're going to get this stuff here. Let's try to buy one of these. And so somebody, one of you guys can uh, pop the group gear vendor. This is a TS vendor. He has the AUGs on him. So let's go like this. Let's pop this guy in here, like so. There you go. Looking much better. Now he's at... 7,000 hit points. So this is much, much better. And if you want to save your old augs or remove them, you can do that too at the same time. Okay, so I'm going to start buying augs here. And some of these, as you notice, they are, uh, whoop, they are lore. So you can only do one of these here. That looks like that's right. I have this one already. And this is a base damage, two-handed weapons. Yeah, this is for two-handers, so. These are type fives. So each piece will have a type five and a type seven. I'm going to get this. And we don't have to, oops. Charm range and secondary, okay. Primary. Let's put this in the primary, but it doesn't have a type 4. And this is, wow, 1,000 hit points. Very nice. Type 7. I'll buy it. Where's the other piece I put on? There you go. Let's go like this. Check out this stuff, luck 10 guys. So there you go, and upgrading this. So now we gotta get type five, but that's not it. So yeah, you wanna get at least, get yourself to 260,000 if you're a caster. Oh, wow, look at these augs. Oh, very nice. Another type 7. And I'll, I'll spend more time on this later to do this here. But for now, oh, good. Arcturus has got a familiar. Thanks, Arcturus. Oh, it's an aug vendor. Huh, maybe I'll bring the first one up. 
This should be the group gear one. Yeah, it's back to the group gear. All right, so we got a couple uh, people with us here. We have Zorgo. You remember Zorgo? We got Elish Whiskas, and we have Arcturus. So one, two, three, four, five. And uh, we should have somebody else here. Let me check uh, Discord. And is the sound coming out okay on the stream there? Okay, thanks, Aldrin. Okay. So we have Arcturus, we have Salted, Zorgo, and so one, two, three. We have six people here. So, Salted, how's your character I'm going? I'm here to listen. Oh, okay. So we have five. We're going to go with six and we're going to set up two groups. So Nerdus is familiar, will be the one that has the gear. And let's see. here's another earring. This earring is, you see, we want the ones that go up to 115. And it'll be better than that. So we're going to buy this here. There you go. All right, Eddie Garcia, welcome back. And the mousetrap and rags is coming. He has issues. And Lindsay out there, when is release date on the actual expansion? Real release date is usually in December. The reason why I buy it early is because I figure I'm going to play it no matter what. And this year, I usually don't buy uh, expansions that have no level increase, but after playing Burning Lands last year, earlier this year, it really changed my mind. As long as they don't lock everything behind progression, uh, you know, like how Burning Lands was, everything was locked behind the smoke trail. As long as they don't do that again, I think it'll be uh, worth it and fun to do. So I'm, this is the first year I'm buying a non-level cap raise. And that's right, Big Beast Dragon Tail. Uh, welcome aboard. We are setting up for the beta. If you missed it, go back and check from the beginning. There's a lot of things you got to do to set up beta, but you've got all the time in the world. Let me show you how many people are here. Now, don't be scared. There's a lot of people, but it's all because old man Thorn there is the one to transport you out to the zones. So there's really not that many people out there yet. So I'm going to continue to buy some gear. So I've I've got gearing questions. Sure. So on the vendor that you pop that has the gear and some augs, um, you should buy all the gear because most of it has a passive that you can click. Yep. But then you want to re-equip what your boost came with. Uh, no, I would go with the newer ones. For example, like I changed out my earrings. I got the shadow scarab earring it has 10 luck on it and i put an aug in it which has like a thousand hit points or almost a thousand hit points 715 okay. so yeah upgrade as much as you can we don't have okay. to do it all so yeah so when i was uh switching out so when i was switching out the the gear that i bought off that vendor my my hit points like the stuff that i would boosted the hit points were better but you're saying that once I put the augs from the other vendor on that new gear, then I'll get better luck and I'll be up around 260k. Is that correct? Yeah, you're a wizard, so it'd be maybe hair less, but you should be. In addition to that, you want to get the new augs, and you can take your old augs off that by popping uh, the dis augmentation distiller vendor. Because you want to get the best uh, you can. In your case, the, the hit points, you know, if you get 250, 260, that, that's good. It's not like tanks where it's all about the hit points. You want to have luck so you get lucky criticals and then you can hit for big, big numbers. And uh, Tozo, Tojozomi, 
Do you think it's too late to get into EverQuest? I played on Airdrie for a while and had a lot of fun, but real servers have so much stuff. I don't know where to start. And what do you guys give? Uh, what do they? What do they, they give you when you pre-order? Okay, so Frederic Lamond, they give you. Uh, I, I'm not sure what the reward is this year. I think it's just a, a potion or something. Sometimes it's something like an, an illusion or something. For me, I just buy it because I'm gonna play it still. But yeah, it's one of those. And to answer your question, Tojo Zomi, um, it depends really. If you're the kind of person that likes uh, the, the Aerodune, those kind of servers, they have a slower pace, then that's for you. If you like uh, the modern game, modern game is much faster paced, then that did be for you. Uh, there's a lot to learn, I think, but you can simplify the game depending on what class you want to play. Like, let's say if you play uh, a ranger, it's pretty simple. And um, uh, classes like the wizard, maybe a little more. But then there's other classes that are that are pretty complicated. And there's more to it. Or that are, I would say cleric is a, a very pressure character. Uh, there's a lot of pressure involved in playing it. you got to be on, on the ball, and the game is very fast. Some of the mobs can kill you so fast. But you'll get to see you guys just hang in there when we're going to get out there and show you some deaths uh, i mean we're going to try not to die too much all right jeremy will be on wonderful we'll have jeremy back and so you can want to get rid of the secret dawn stuff i mean it is good but i'm going to get mask of memories lost okay so i'm going to do this and i got to get the aug guy too. so Right click it. Notice I get Shadow of Endurance here. I don't want to take these augs off. I got to get this aug distiller. So he wants class X. And they should all be about the same. Yep, class augmentation class X. So let's go ahead and pop the aug distiller and just buy a ton of these things. You go under special and you go to summon. He see he'll get this guy summon permutation vendor. Go to this and make a hotkey somewhere. Oh, I already have permutation peddler. There we go. There's a permutation peddler. I want to get a bunch of aug distiller X. Uh, well, here it is. I'm get I'm gonna buy a lot of these. There we go. And then you get this, and now you can take off this and you can go like this if we find a better one just for today's purposes we're just gonna take them off and put them on here now you can see the difference we got luck seven on the mask of memories and giving us 7200 and see the difference with the secret dawn so now we can get rid of secret dawn bye bye to burning lands and uh, let's see, Tojozomi says, I liked Aerodune more than P99, not because of the quality of life features, so maybe a faster pace is more my style. I have only ever played Cleric. Oh, well, if you've done that, that's pretty good then. Um, one thing about the live servers is the population is top heavy, so you probably have to level it up, but I would say give the beta a try if you're if you're interested, or watch us do it, and you'll get an idea. I think that's a be a good measure. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and change out these earrings, like so. I'm going to save this aug here, because you never know. Let's get rid of this. There we go. And this is my back item. And this can take this could take me an hour, but I'm not gonna do it all. Just enough so I get some hit points. There we go. So you got Mirrodon skill. You want to have that Mirrodon. Excuse me. There you go.
Okay, and we're going to do that. Once again, we click these off. And now we're getting 254. This is still good. And you're welcome, uh, Tojizomi. Yes, thanks for watching, Tojo. Yeah, I got too familiar, so we'll let everybody work on the gear here. And let's see, what do we have? We got a neck piece here. So you got two neck pieces. They're both the same. Roughly about the same. I'm going to get the black frosted pearl. Range item. I already got that. This is a fingers item. We'll take. Oh, there's a charm right here. Uh, what merc should I get? Um, we got to see um what we have here. Uh, we got to determine who wants to get the tank merc. I, I if you as an enchanter, if you get the tank merc, um, that would probably be good because then other guys will get the healer merc. That's what I usually do. Okay. Uh, and we'll go through the J five quests really fast. It'd be nice if they could just give you the J five. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll wait. I slot five. Oh, extruded black pearl requires XV. Okay, so uh, Gadra Gadaru says you can some better stuff a beta fish group TS. We did, but it uh, gave us mostly. Um, what it gave us here is it just gave us augs. Oh, maybe he's right. No, I'm just seeing augs in there to this guy. So let's see here. Yeah, I'm just seeing augs in there. Oh, maybe this is here. No, it's still an aug. Wait, so you're not seeing the vendor with gear on it? No, we have three vendors, a permutation vendor, Nerd is Familiar, which is group TS, and Arcturus is, has, it's the, somebody's saying that you can get the beta fish of T, group TS, and I did that one, and that one just had augs. Oh, there we go, let's see his. Oh, it disappeared. Yeah, that's the one I got, but it's just, uh... Looks like I'm just seeing augs in there. Where, yeah, where did all the armor went? Yeah, it's Jews Nerdus is familiar. Oh, it rotates, he says. Ah. Okay. Oh, all right. Oh, wow. Thanks. Yes. Okay, so guys, use this one. Gadra, Gadra, O's familiar. Look at what it has. Volume infused stuff. That's even better. So look at the gloves. Um, they're pretty good. They start off at seven thousand hit points. But anyway, uh, what you want to do is just get it. Each time you summon it, it creates a new one. So yeah, this is better than. Uh, it's about yeah, it's slightly better. So you can get some. This will take a while. So um, let me change the robe first. The robe's important.
yeah we want to get out there pretty soon so there we go yeah the robe is better okay it's been about 30 minutes uh our Zam is 24 I've never done a beta got a brief rundown like do you have to pre-order yes to get on it to answer your questions you have to do the pre-order once you get the pre-order there's a link you can download it and also on the forums there's a link where you can go to download so you want to do that and then it'll have a couple steps if you missed it check the beginning of this uh, stream and um, you can see the, the, the steps you have to go through Okay, let's just do the charm here. I'm not going to do them all. Extruded black pearl. I need XV. Okay, 252 in hit points. Now, guys, should we set up a guild or just keep it the way it is? I think a guild would be easier. Okay, what do you think we should name the guild? Any ideas? I like this white coat here, this white thing. I'm surprised you didn't have one in mind. Yeah, I didn't. Short bus? No, Dardar's not here. Let me just get this gear going here. Guild of Vishen is what Mousetrap says. Okay, that's a good name. Any other votes for a guild name? Nacho Truck. Nacho Truck? Okay, that's actually pretty good. I like that too. Nacho truck. Uh, any other votes out there for a guild name? While I finish this process up. Sorry about that. I was on the phone with my wife. No problem at all. Let's see, Tannis Peeps. Oh, Eddie Garcia says Tannis Peeps. That's right, uh, Tannis Wolf. Oh, yeah. Toe Jam of Vishen. <laughs> Spicy Nachos. That, those are sounding good. Uh, more ideas, guys. And we'll set something up. Let's see, legs. Okay, I... I... I took I deleted my my familiar, got the new one, and now it has the uh it has the armor on it. Okay, great. That's good, yeah, you can put the new armor in there. Was that the group T S fish? Yes. Yeah. Oh not T S. Uh mine is uh group T two. I think TS, isn't that the uh, trade skills? Yeah, but uh, somebody was saying that if you get that one, you can actually get the, um, the better gear. There's a little bit better gear in there. But as long as you get a couple of these set up, we can, uh, we'll probably be good. We don't have to do them all. Just get a bunch of them. I'm going to go through this later. Uh, for me, you know, um, it looks pretty good at, at, at what it is. Even it's just 251. If we get other buffs like shaman buffs and stuff, it'll bring us up. Yeah, we just oh, yeah. got righteous. I mine up and I've got a whole new set of augs. Yeah, if each time you bring it up, you'll get different kind of uh, stuff. 
Welcome aboard, Edwin Retesma. Baby Yoda, we love him. Okay, that's a guild name. And we're going to have to run the J5. Unless anybody knows of a better way to get the J5, I wonder if there's a way they can just give it to you. Sadly, the J5, we've got to, each person's, it's a solo quest, so we got to do it as a group and then go through it. I think I'm going to set my bind point right here. I think this is a better buff spot for now. Okay. Oh, this is it. Let's see. Yeah, I should be pretty good. Although sometimes I can't help myself. I just want to keep buying stuff here. See, let's get the hat and let's get the arms, gloves, just get the essential pieces, two wrist pieces, and get our shoes. I'm going to AFK a few minutes. All right. Yeah, me too. I'm going to make myself a, something to eat. Okay, sounds good, guys. So you guys out there can see the process. Yeah, that's right, Edwin. Um, raid guilds, yeah, they got to come out and uh, and do something because uh, after been they've been doing TOV for so many months, it gets a little old. It's time for some new stuff. There we go, two hundred sixty-one thousand hit points. There we go. This reminds me of how you ogged up when you had TBM. And the og process was so long. Almost done. There we go. Okay, let's see if any clickies on these. Nope. Okay, this just has focuses. And I love pie out there says uh, the new expansion is pretty good. We're gearing up. We're in the gearing up process. Uh, and then, yeah, we hope we can do TOV raids. They're going to be tough, uh, really tough. So let's get this here.
and that should go there almost there what other pieces do I need helmet I got all the essential pieces a belt would be good let's see if we can find a belt there it is that's it looks like a neck this is a waist and we got the charm Ooh, ice pick this is another charm oh there we go there's a shield gonna need a shield and another nice aug a 115 aug Ooh, I love it yeah I'll switch out the augs later Almost there, guys. There we go, got expanding mind. Okay, looking much better. 264 hit points. Yeah, that's right, Edwin. I like less emotes in raids, just straight up tank and spank. We'll have to make more DPS classes. I'm back. All right, welcome back. We're still in the gearing up process. I've switched most of my stuff to uh, uh, the newer stuff to 115 gear. I know it takes a while, but there's a ring I got to change. These are nice type fives. You could spend a lot of time looking through this here. Oh, it has type threes, so type threes are very nice to get. We'll get those later. Looking much better, 265. And the power source is a magma stone. This is an old aug. And thanks, I love Pi. Thank you so much for a donation. Welcome aboard, Ryan Crank. Uh, no, there's no new level cap. And good afternoon, Mark. Okay, Dragon Nachos and Peter Weintraub, I did the beta buff, but now I'm a female. Uh, you have, when you did the beta buff and you log back in Peter Weintraub, you should have a little screen that shows a race change on there. If not, there should be something you can get in here, and I think it's this one. In your red bag, you should have a gender change. I like this here. Um, so... You can click this and change your gender. You only get one chance, so I don't know how you get it. You can probably buy another one from Old Man Thorn. So um, choose wisely when you do the change. Oh, it just changes to female? Uh, Peter Weintraub? Let's see. Now, this one should change it. But I'm not going to change the female just for you. <laughs> so uh, um, I'm sure it works. Okay, so these are the fishy. Fishy go back in here. And look at the look at the stuff. This stuff looks really nice. It's too bad it's all TBL stuff. Like we can you can get rid of a lot of this stuff. 
if you're not going to use it. It's all no trade anyway, but it's all TBL raid gear they give you. Let me make some space in here. Because we're going to need it, and we're getting ready. Yeah, and if anybody knows out there, if you need to do the, if there's a way to skip the J5 quest and just get the mercs, because they only give you J1s. So that kind of wastes a lot of time there. Let me check for last piece. It looks like I've converted all my main pieces here. Yep, that's a 115, the power source, no big deal. So this is about right, about what I have on my regular enchanter. So should be good. Let's finish doing the spells real quick. Got the AE Mez up. I want to put, I want to get the tiny daggers too. So we can summon a uh, resupply. I'm not sure if this guy has it. Oh, there went my other guy. This guy should sell tiny daggers. There it is. Okay, let's check the pet out. Although I'm not going to use this pet because in real life he's not very good. He only hits for 7k. And Rob R. Mission today is we're going to show you the new expansion, at least one zone, or we'll see how far. And Quake says, uh, is expansion out? It is in beta. That's right. So here's a pet. And if we con him, he's only 111. I thought the my regular pet was higher than this. But let's go ahead and load a charm in here. And we're going to see what the uh, pet hits for out there. They did nerf the pet before, so it doesn't hit very hard. It hits 20% less, so that's disappointing. So now after I do this with my with this here, I'm going to set it for a crowd control. I'm also going to do uh, this glance here. And this is a quick kind of mess. It's a quickie mess. I'm going to get, see, I should have slow, like slowing helix. And then it's time to put in the damage over times. And you want to see that they have different timers. see which one is it uh, this one let's see no it's not this one here it's grip yeah you want the grip okay and we're gonna go ahead and put two nukes in Oh, what do we have here? Oh, I don't know if this is it. This is 14,000. And let's go ahead and save some room for buffs here. get our rune up okay now it's time to make a guild and welcome aboard mr. Kavit yeah mr. Kavit it uh, this is just a basic setup so you know this is basically it's group gear if you have raid gear you'll be higher but they only offer you TOV group gear Yeah, Mousetrap, the Vox is empty. 
I know I have a character I test copy from there, and yep, not a lot of people. Same with the other live servers are kind of empty. Let's see here. Um, yeah, well, the TBL raid gear, you can go back and view it. That We had all whatever. the t It looks like TBL raid gear or looked like it, but um, anyway. Okay, let's do this now. Hey, cats, can I ask you a question? Sure. All right, so I uh, put on all the infused Bellium gear, and I put on the 115 Augs um, for I could fill up two of the slots, it looked like. Right now I'm sitting at 263k. Good. And uh, spell damage is 2036, clear points 2634, luck 40. Does that sound good? That sounds good. My luck is 77, but the way luck goes, as long as you get your luck to like 30-ish, past that there's diminishing returns. It doesn't really make that big a difference, I notice. So yeah. luck, luck 36 is good. I'm luck 77, but you're good. Okay, yeah. I mean, I just, I'm, I'm just trying to, it's going to take me a long time to min max these augs and gear and stuff like that so i just wanted to be in a position to start you're great yeah you don't worry about um you know min maxing it too much uh, at this point we just have the group gear it should be good and welcome board trucker stuff and so let's go ahead and let's get an aura up let me get my aura it's kind of neat to see all the spells we'll be ready to go pretty soon Thanks for hanging in there with us, everybody. And we've got this. Okay, I'll make a guild now. Okay, so the guild name, we have a couple names out there. Somebody said Spicy Nachos. What are some other guild names? Usually, um, Sideburns has a good guild name. Any any votes out there? Everybody's only voted on one, so we have a lot of singles, but we haven't had anybody voted on doing two votes. Yeah, that's right, Mr. Kavit. The mobs are gonna they're gonna be rough. I can tell you that already. Blood Bath and Beyond. Okay, that sounds good. <laughs> Dirt naps and beyond. Okay, so we got one vote for bloodbath and beyond. And any more votes out there? We need to get at least two people to vote on the same one, so that uh, I know. Because if so far we just have one vote. Okay, I'm back. Uh, what are the names? Anybody want to vote on a guild name? Uh, what are the names? Oh, and everybody had different ones like Spicy Nachos, Blood Bath and Beyond. I forgot there were a couple others up there. It's way up there. White Coats, Guild of Vishen, Toejam of Vishen, Spicy Nacho, Tannis Wolf Peeps. And that's all I see so far. Baby Yoda, We Love Him. That's another one. Okay, two votes for spicy nachos. Okay, going. If any more people have any votes, let me know. Yeah, spicy nachos. That's not bad. Okay. Okay, that, now I'm looking at them. Okay. We got two votes for Blood Bath and Beyond. Uh, how many votes do we have for spicy nachos? Two for spicy nachos? Or was that three? Okay, I guess we'll go. I guess that was three. Nacho Gilda's uh, gear screws loose. Welcome aboard. So we have. Uh, spicy nachos seems like the best fit. Okay, it's going to be spicy. We got three to four votes. Spicy nachos it is, guys. Let me start getting out guild invites. And here we go. Let's see. We've got Arturus. I know he's there inviting Arturus. And if anybody, there's Elish. Now, 
the people in the guild will all have Discord. We're gonna do it this way. Sending whiskas, an invite. Chu Man Fu is he is he in the guild and BHDS? We just have three here. Who are we missing? So we're no, I think some some of those people just came over to use familiar. I think. Okay. Zorgo, I'm not standing there. I was at the bank. All right, Peter Weintraub is Chu Man Fu. That sounds good. Okay, so we got three. Whiskas uh, Elish. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, he's a, he's a gnome. That's right. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> sent Zorgo an invite and sent Arcturus an invite. Okay. All right, we got five, two, four, five. We could all do the J5 with one group here. We, we don't, I don't think we need any healers or anything. Unless there's a better way to do it. I have a Merc up. So I have a healer Merc. Um, I'll start to add you guys in. Let's see. Gotta be another way to get a better Merc. Did you check out that beta rewards guy? Yeah, I'm gonna go look at him and talk to him. Hey, Ragnar pal. That I wonder if that's Ragnarok. He can be our tank, I guess. And we just will we can do the J5 without a healer. Trophy of the Seafearer. Alrighty. Token oh here we go guys. You gotta buy one more thing. Token of resurrection. Now I'd suggest when buying these, uh, see if we can buy 50. You can only buy five at a time, but I'd suggest you buy 30 of them because it's going to get bloody out there, guys. So come over to Old Man Thorn, buy a lot of res tokens. We're going to need to do a lot of battle reses. And I wish they had... Um, mounts in here we can do it without mounts there is a gate potion and if you guys need to be, be bound there's a soul binder nearby uh, cliff stone and a cookie there's any bags yeah no bags what i i've done is i've cleared out my red bag I'm going to get throw away all this other stuff in there and get space that way. And when you guys are ready, we'll go do the J5 quest and we'll talk about who we have. What? What's the name of the resurrection? Token of resurrection. Right? Yeah, buy about 20 or 30 of those. We're going to do a lot of dying. And I'm going to promote everybody to member. It's not that it really matters. Just because. Any place I buy other bags? No, I would start deleting the stuff out of your big red bag. Yeah, okay. Good idea. Yeah. You can also, from... Nellen, the Tinker guy, he sells for one platinum. He sells ten slot giant boxes. Ah. Uh. Okay, let's get this stuff uh, cleaned out of the bags. And I would put the res token on a hot bar like I've done just because we're going to be clicking that thing a lot, I think. Yeah, that's right, Tarjan. It's funny, like, where's my 40 slot bag? Yep, we they it'd be interesting. They give us all the good loot, but uh, no 
40 slaughters. Just this nice red one. I think the first zone today would be, I'm not sure what the entry zone is. It might be Cobalt Scar. It would kind of sound that way. Uh, which two damage over time spells do you have up? Okay, so I'm using um, uh, Mind Coil Rank 2, and then I also use Pulmonary Grip. I think they're the two of them are on different timers, and you can stack them. Whereas if you use the other Constriction ones, they're, you know, they give you some mana back and do other things, but I use these two. And then I use for Slow, I use Slowing Helix, which is an AA. So I'll go with those right there. Also, Elder Trune and Veil of Mind Shadow should always be up. And I have a group rune. I'm going to come back over here. I don't see rags. All right, guys, uh, let me know how you're doing and uh, get us ready. We can go ahead and do quickly do the J5 quest and then we can go out there and give it a try. So it's probably five to ten minutes. Okay. Oh, okay, sure, that, that's fine. Meanwhile, I'm going to, while you guys are doing that, uh, if anybody wants to check out the other zone, just take a peek at it. I'm going to head over to Cobalt Scar just to take a look-see. Anybody, if anybody's ready, they can, they want to come with me. And I'll be right back, of course. All right, let's give it a shot then. Let's go to Cobalt Scar. Okay, go into Cobalt Scar and I can just gate right back. Yeah, that's right, Sideburns. A claim would be good to check. Wow, look at the, the amount of people coming in. Okay, we've landed in the new Cobalt Scar, guys. The moment you've been waiting for, let's take a look. Oh, interesting. This is Sky Shrine right here. And as you know, there's no map. This is just like the good old days. And Wervin, he's indifferent. He's 112. Let's put Perfected Lev on. Oh, interesting. I know there's going to be maps out. Tomorrow we'll probably have the maps. Yes, we need to get a route going. Okay, let's see, no map whatsoever. And everybody says, uh, go to Temple of Vishan. We're gonna do that too. Let's go ahead and check out this stuff. Looks like the stuff isn't KOS, but I see people's corpses over here, so something went wrong. And let's see, we have uh, a lower area, so it looks like a reskinned version. Kind of uh, nice. Okay, how did you get there? Uh, I went to Old Man Thorn and I said, uh cobalt scar to him if you hail him they'll give you a list of uh, places to go okay thank you i'm just taking a look around exploring it i don't see anything here this is where it's cool to have a druid they can track for you okay somebody wants me to go swimming okay let's take a look down here 
Ah, oh, there's some Oth mirrors or whatever. Oh, look at they're all indifferent. How cool. And what happened to the water here? Or is that water there? Achmir Shaman, 115. Sweet. Let's see what does our charm go up to. 114 only. So this is it. This is what happened to Cobalt Scar. I guess the water dried up or somebody drained it. And there's no longer any water here. He's 112. He's charmable. 112. We'll see how vicious they really are. And this is it. Look at this, guys. It is not water anymore. <laughs> I got thirsty of Salder and they drank it all. So Caloric Dar used to hang out here, if you guys are familiar with him. And he was uh, one of the valiest Tier 1 dragons. But they've drained the lake and there's not a lot of mobs out here. But it does look kind of neat. They're frozen. Yeah, it looks like this. What's this guy here? Defender, he's 12. 112. There's some other guy here called Jabber. Oh, wow, what's that? Restless off there. Okay, this is. Oh, Siren and Ticer, look at this. They're all indifferent. You know that when the X-Pack goes live, they won't be. And there's somebody's corpse, somebody died. Whoa, check it out. So in this case, you want to have something like a Pacify. And let's check out Pacify, see how well it works. Okay. Oh, they mezzed him. And he mezzed too. So there's another guy out there. We'll try it in just a moment. And thanks, uh, I love Pi123. Oh, I lost you guys. Oh, where you at? Oh, you're in Cobalt Scar? I'm down in the, come yeah. down to the lake. I'll invite you. Yeah, I'm down the lake. Oh, you're in Cobalt Scar? I'm down in the Inviting Arcturus, I'll invite uh, Whiskas. Sending you an invite. Okay. okay, you can see me. You should be able to see me on the map. Yeah, you can see me on map. And we're down here. We'll try to kill a few of these guys. Restless guys. He should be undead, but they'll probably flip the flag and turn him into an undead guy. I'll wait for the rest of the team to get here. Alright guys, welcome aboard. Now if you do have any, well the mercs are going to be kind of useless here. I would keep, does anybody else have a healer merc? I have one J1 healer. We, probably, we might need one more healer merc. Grab a healer merc and POK. And, okay. Uh, I'm ready to join you if you've got space. We sure do. Let's see here. Uh, Zorgo, you just have to come out to Cobalt Scar. Old Stone. Yeah, and talk to uh, Old Man Thor and say Cobalt Scar. Oh, okay. Yes, right, and. Let me grab and Tarb, we do know what the uh, zones are. Welcome aboard, Tarb. The zones are going to be um, Temple of Vishen, Western Waste, Dragon Necropolis, Sky Shrine, Cobalt Scars. I think there's six zones only. I'll, zone, I'll scroll back up so you can see. There's six zones only. You want me to get a, uh, a, a Merc? Um, just a healer at this point because we haven't got the J5 yet. So you can see it right here, um, Tarb, the zones, Eastern Waste, of course. And we have Eastern Waste already with TOV, so I wonder if it's the same one. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it should be the same one because there's six here. So Eastern Waste is a TOV version. 
and we'll see if these guys are uh, itemized. Okay, there's Whiskas. So yeah, if you have a healer merc, go ahead and pop it. Mm, I don't think I have one. Okay. How about Whiskas? I, I could run back and grab one. No, it's okay. We'll be okay with one. Let's uh, let's give it a shot. Let's see if we can pacify him first. Yep, pacify worked. Okay, so let's try one of the. We don't have a tank merc. We need to get a pet actually. So let's see how long my pet can um, can tank him. Okay, sending the pet on him. Let's see how long this pet lasts. Come on, Merc, heal him. Okay, I'm in Cobalt Scar now. Okay, hang on a second. Sending an invite. Okay, let's. Uh, oh wow! Watch out, Arcturus. Uh, stay close. Oh shoot! There's another death. Let me get him res tokened. Am I sliding on the ice or is it just an illusion? Arcturus has been rezzed. Look at this guy. He's a tough booger. Oh, I gotta get Dissident up. Wow. Yeah, let the pet tank it. Oh, the pet's getting munched. What I'm going to do is after he kills a pet, I'm going to recharm him. Oh, <laughs> the pet's not going to keep up. Look at this. This is crazy. Oh, he just broke. Okay, going to recharm him. Okay. Uh-oh, uh I'm going to die. Let's try to get him. Oh! Res token, please. Coming in. Oh gosh. Here it comes. I'm dead. Yeah. You bad little guy here. Okay, let's see if we can just mez the guy. No mana. I'm gonna lose the merc. I got him. I got him. Okay, got him missed. Okay, let me get a little mana. Let's try to um, let's try to charm him. See if he's charmable. Got him. Okay, he's a pet. We'll see what he hits for. Let me get the gather mana going. So yeah, they do. Let's see what did he hit like. And the hit from him. He hits for forty k. Yeah, strike through. Everything is a strike through, guys. So this is what will happen. I need to get uh, regen up. Oh, and he broke charm already. Oh, this is new. Quickly tosh and recharm. And we do have a Cleric Merc, Mad Mike, but it's uh, pretty weak. Uh, I would like to get, yeah, uh, Liver, uh, 1221, I'd like to get the new pets, uh, mounts. That would be good eventually. Mousetrap, here's the new uh, pet models. Restless Othmir. They look like they're a little icy. Let me get my mana up and get some haste up. And the interesting is, is thing is that Charm did break. Eight minutes. I'm just curious, do you have anybody that's playing a tank? What's that? that's playing a tank uh, nobody playing a tank yet
Yeah, we got one tank. So oh, yeah, that's right. Sorry, but Alicia's a tank. My bad memory. Yeah, I'm thinking that those mobs are going to be the only way you're going to be able to handle them is with a, with a real tank. Yeah, real tank or charm pet. I'm going to send this little guy after another one. Where is another one? How do I find you guys? Uh, we should be on the map or try find, control F, since you're in the group. Uh, yeah, they do hit really hard. Undead, that's a good question. We're going to find out real soon. We should have rags uh, somewhere along the line. Okay, got to get the mana back up. Trying to talk somebody into buying some of my trading cards so that I can get the expansion. Ah. Yeah, I should load a stun here. Yeah, Mad Mike, if they are like TOV, they are undead, and we'll find out if uh, when we get rags with us. I'm not sure where he is. Hello. Hello, are you going to be joining us? Yeah, I need to figure out what I need to do. Okay. In the Discord channel, there's a link to download the beta first, and download it, and then go ahead and buy the next X pack, the beta X pack and go through the process. It's a long way. Oh, there's an Othmer. This guy wants to die. We're going to send my pet versus him once these two guys separate. And charm here only lasts five minutes left. Okay, let me get one of these victims. I want to get this. I want to fix this guy's this critter's wagon. I'm gonna, I'm gonna charm another one. Okay, you want to? Uh, here we go. You want to get this guy out here? Yeah. Okay. If the other guy comes in, I'll get the other guy. You get the near guy. Oh, too far. Yeah. Now he. Here, let me go ahead and I'll mez one. I'm mezzing the one on the right. The other one on the left comes in. You got the guy on the left here. Toshing him for you. Okay, you're good. Okay, good. Where do you get your characters from, Test? No, you get on the get it from beta. You'll it'll set you up and all that. Okay, let's get this guy. Yep, new characters completely. Okay, sending pet on. Okay, go ahead and fight him. One versus another. Let's see what they're hitting for. Hitting for about 8,000. Oh, 50k. Who, which one's hitting 50k? <laughs> they're both the same. That's probably mine that's getting hit for 50k. And mine's only hitting for 8,900. So, yep, the nerf is in effect. It's gonna take a little while to kill these guys. My spells, 300. I need to get dissident. Up. Here, let's get dissident reinforcement. So dissident reinforcement, you want that up also. Okay, we're slowly winning this battle. This is why you need lots and lots of DPS. Because as you can see here, it's taking a long time. These are the hits we're getting. Once I get dissident back up, it'll hit for I can hit for a million. Yeah, long battles, guys. Monitor the pet. Three minutes left on pet. 
Oh, my pet just broke. Going for a recharm. Sending pet on him. Okay, dissident is up, popping a dissident reinforcement. Now go ahead and nuke him. There we go, 300 and something. Oh. Mine slash hitting for 284. <laughs> These are going to be long fights, guys. Yep, it plays kind of like... Um, TOV in a way, you're going to need to focus a lot on DPS. You're going to be all what, DPS. What zone did you guys go out to? Cobalt Scar. We're down in the lake bed in the middle. I hope we kill this guy sometime today. Look at these lucky criticals I'm getting, but it's still taking a long time. It's like 200 and I'm getting crits for 250k. Yeah, we're going to need uh, bigger ones. Pop and Dissident again. Your nukes should hit harder. Can I free slow him to make him miss more? Is MQ2 available on it? No, it's, we don't even have maps or anything. Look at this pet. He broke again. Recharming pet. Huh? Wow, and look at the fizzle rate. Oh, yeah, I got it. Yep, we'll get you in. Come on down, we're going to kill this guy and we'll reform the groups. Uh, I'm not sure which way to head. Uh, just come down to the middle. Everything's indifferent. Okay, so he is. Uh, we needed two pets to kill that one guy, plus DPS. So each group should have two healer mercs. You want to have that for sure. And you see you don't lose any experience. So uh, where are we? Let me give you a location. Our location is 80, negative 575. Now you notice the Merc is just trying to heal the, the pets. Yeah, and Saldron, yeah, these guys have a lot of hit points. Oh, you again, not you again. Arr. Whoa, just showed, okay. Ah. Oh, look at how fast he killed me. Requesting res. Try to mez him. I'm trying. I got it. Okay. Yeah, we're going to need the J5 Mercs, Mr. Kavit. We wanted to give everybody a preview of the area. So you can see how fast he kills me. Just like that. I couldn't even stun him either. I need to quickly get this guy back under. You good? You charmed him. What happened to? Oh, my pet took off. No, I messed him. He's right. He's standing right by me. Oh, okay. Oh, there he is. All right, thanks. So it's weird. I fizzled just on the stun. Maybe two having I mean, two enchanters is a, is better. Yeah, it really is, because we, we need the crowd control. Like, right there, if you weren't able to mez him, he would have killed everybody. Yeah, no maps available yet, guys. So, yeah, come on down. And if we have other people there, we can uh, get them in. And the pet just bit, uh, the Merc bit the dust. Got to wait a few minutes. The, the trouble is going to be getting this guy re -mez. That's going to be the trick. I'm going to put your pet on extended target so that 
I can remez him if you need it. Yeah, I'm gonna do. Because when I'm sitting down, he'll, he'll like two hit me. Let me get the. Yeah, I definitely need the. These pets have. They don't really do a lot of damage, but they really have a lot of hit points, so they can tank stuff if they can hold aggro. Whoa, that's a big download. Yeah, it's 11 gigabytes. Yeah, I had to change over to my hotspot on my phone. At least it's got almost 180 megabytes a second. Yeah, it'll take a while. Uh, are the rest of the servers back up? Um, I don't know. I know test the test server's up. Test server's up, yeah. Let me put up a rune or maybe this will give me a couple more seconds of life. Welcome, William Sanders, welcome back. Yeah, it is, uh, well, if we get, uh, Sinjin out here, we can have Sinjin and, uh, the rest of the people. And set a team. Were you able to find us, Elish? I uh, gave you. Okay, so I'll give you the location. The location is uh, 77, 79.88. Uh, another location is negative 574. So you have to do it all old school style. Oh, I don't think I have any Paradots, that's why. Yep, no Paradots. Here's an AA quit. I'm noticing in my class section, I have a lot of AAs that like increase damage of spells that are 110 or lower. Um, are, is that useless or does that make those old spells worth it yeah some of those spells will be okay tamuka who's tamuka hello tamuka yeah i already summoned my merchant uh, mr kavit and are you yeah i already did so you can see here before this guy see i summoned my agent already so he's on cooldown so we'll have to get somebody to summon it. It's okay. We'll we'll be okay. I'll uh, use what this. What was your uh, location uh, numbers again? Uh, seventy nine point eight eight. Just call it eighty. And the other location is negative five seven four. I think all the stuff is um, indifferent to you, so you'll be okay. But man, that took a long time to kill this little guy. Hey guys. Hey, hello. Good morning or afternoon. Okay. Wow. Uh, boy, am I geared up. Okay. 3,000 AA I can't even spend. I've spent every AA I've got. Oh, that's good. I got 219 AAs here. Yeah. Just set it to camp. Well, she gave me like 10,000 AAs. Yeah. Get what you can. Let me see here. Oh, so one of the questions I had, Katz, on your video. You showed that you got like a whole bunch of the bags, like the orange bags. I only got one orange bag. Is that something different this time? Yeah, we only got one bag this time. So if you're... Okay, I just wanted to double check I hadn't done something wrong. If you're in the game, uh, we're out in Cobalt Scar. And we're going to form up two groups each. Well, actually, we should be going back to get the um, J5 oh, Merc. I got to get a Merc. 
Well, yeah, you, I gotta get a Merc first. You'll have to, we, if we get the J5 Merc, that'll help a lot. We, each group, we should do each two groups. Each group should have three real people, three Mercs, one J5 tank, and two healer Mercs. Yeah, I'm gonna get a healer Merc. All right, RU is Green Ranger. All right, Zulon, welcome aboard. That's right, RE, it's a surprise. I, I'm, I'm really surprised it's all working. Oh, my pet's gonna break real soon. He's over there. He's this one here. Okay, found you guys. All right. Okay, so let's see how many real people we have here. Uh, we have Whiskas, Elish, Zoro, Arcturus, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Rags will make six. So, uh, yeah. We have one healer Merc. Does anybody else here have a healer Merc? I have a healer Merc. You have one. Oh gosh, that's my bad oh, pet again. How come it only allows us to get tier ones? Do we have to do the quest? Yes. Charming the pet. Okay, he's been recharmed. Reviving Merc. Yeah, you have to do the J5 quest. That's the thing. So Merc is online. Let me get the A step. And uh, that's right. And I was like, OMG, yes, it uh, is an undead zone. It looks like it. We won't know until we get somebody can cast undead spells. Well, it looks like they are going to um, patch it for beta. Oh, oh, oh they're going to patch for beta? MQ2. Ooh, that's nice. That'd be very, very nice. Nice. That'll be good. Jeez, look at this guy. They're breaking all the way. Wow, he just... The charm is... It breaks a lot. I can put up a, an aura that'll reduce the breakage of it. Let's try that. It has a charm aura. Okay, so how do I get out to Cobalt Scar? Uh, talk to Old Man Thor and you say Cobalt Scar to him. And Mad Mike, yeah, it would be interesting to see how the Necros perform out here. So supposedly the Echo of Mollification should reduce my charm breakage, but wow, I've never seen it break so much. Okay. Oh, we formed the guild yet? We have. And the name is? Spicy Nachos. Nice. Two hundred fifty-six thousand hit points. Am I missing something? All right, I'm coming out to a Cobalt Star. Okay, so you there are no maps. You just have to come down to the lake bed. Everything's indifferent out here. have uh, enough tank mercs uh we need to go do the j5 quest we don't have any tank mercs elish is going to be our tank and um we're going to use the enchanter pets to tank just like you do in classic we're going to hope that that uh works it took two of them to take one of these guys down you want to try this other guy over here let's get him Okay, let's try him. Bring him in. Uh, so Elish is not in a group. Hold on. Oh, wow, this one's hitting for a lot. Let's get the slow on him. 
see how long it takes to take him down. We got, is Elish, do you have a Helamur? Because I don't think he's in the group. Yeah, no, I don't have uh, any Merc. Oh gosh, okay. We got to get a group formed up for him. Let's try to kill this guy real fast. Cats, what's your loke? Hold on. Uh, negative, it's 80, negative 574. Thank you. If you have, do you have a healer Merc with you? Yes, I do. Okay, great. You can form it with Elish. Make sure it's on reactive. It is. Okay. This happens so fast. Oh, another Othnir. Okay, gonna mez the ad. Oh, shoot. You one killed Whiskas. Let me mez this wow. guy. I know. Yep. Yeah, get ready. Rezzing uh, Whiskas real fast. Yeah, the game's really fast. Whiskas been rezzed. The other Othnir, I'm gonna hard mez him. Let's hope another one doesn't break. Yeah. I hope we can kill this guy sometime today. <laughs> Jeez, wow. I'm going to slow the other bad guy. We're going to just break him out of Mez when we're done. I mean, we're going to memory blur him. Wow, vicious little guys. Welcome aboard our media out on YouTube. Thanks for joining us. Time on Mez on Charm, three minutes. I see bodies. Yep. Okay, yes, Rag. Spicy nacho. Uh, make a group with uh, Elish. Shoot, Zargo got killed. What happened? Oh, the guy broke out of Mez. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, got him. Whoa. Okay, who do I assist? No, get in with You got Elish, just uh, you'll yep, see the one. Elish. We're killing one of them, and the other one I'm going to blur it off as soon as we kill it. Okay, Zor goes back. Okay, let's just memory blur this other guy. Don't kill the other guy. Yeah, I never died. Oh, I was... somebody got killed. Oh, my Merc got killed. Okay, blurring him off. Don't attack him. Let me move over. Oh, gosh, there's an author over here. Let's move over here. Because when he... I want to bring the pet over here because if he breaks, I don't want the other guy to aggro. Well, that's the healer Merc. The healer Merc bit the dust, so... It started with a Z, so it looked like Zorgo. Okay, can I get a guild invite? Yeah, one sec. Okay. This pet of mine is going to break. And one minute. That was kind of interesting. I still have the uh, the beta launcher from last time, so I thought I'll see what happens if I click it. Yep. And it it launched. It loaded everything all up. The only thing it doesn't do is give me a server to play on. Yeah, you just have to once you pay, it'll show up. Welcome aboard, musical miss singers. Uh, yep, wish you could be here. Definitely do need tank and more healing. Uh, it's these guys are vicious. They they one hit uh, whiskers. You get haste back up. It's a lot of 
You gotta be on your toes in this game. And you can see my Merc is trying to heal, but he can't heal. Or the Merc, who's dead now. We have no Merc. We gotta be really careful. We do have two healer Mercs in here. Good thing we do, otherwise we'd be dead. So yeah, it's gonna be two healer Mercs, one tank Merc. Oh, you bad little thing. Bad pet. Oh, wow. Zorgo. Yeah, oh, what happened? Recharming. He was under Mez. Oh, he was? Yeah, he's my pet. Here comes another res token. Third res token of the day. Not bad. Usually we use 20 res tokens. Res for Zorgo. Yeah, when this guy breaks, he's going to just go right for me. And there's somebody's permutation. That's Rags is familiar. Yeah, it's an enchanter. That's too bad. 19 for something. Alright, you're getting there. On a freaking Wi Fi modem. <laughs> Good job. Oh! Oh, mezzing off near. Got a mez. I always keep the flash up for him. Okay, he's been mezzed. So I keep uh, deceiving flash rank 2 up. That's the quickest mez. And it's almost a guaranteed mez. Which one is it? Uh, I use uh, Deceiving Flash. That's one that will let me mez them real fast. It has a negative 110 modifier on it. And it casts in 1.5 seconds. So I, I would go Deceive and then Deceiving Flash. If, if I need a real fast mez, like some pet, these crazy pets break, you got to mez them so fast. And uh, Mike Brower, no, they didn't add up the levels. They added six zones. And in this zone, this is Cobalt Scars. And what you can see here is the, yep, oh, is that my pet, not you again. Oh, gonna kill me, help? I oh, thanks. I messed up. Wow, he's resisting deceive. That's just crazy. I'm dead. Oh, dead again. Mesim. Oh, another one. Okay, guys. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Requesting res. That was fast. Yeah. Two hit. They hit for like 40k. Res incoming. Thanks. And he strikes through. You're going to see a lot of strike through there. Thank you. We may want to um, just go back to POK or something and uh, get our mercs. They break charm a lot, guys. Or we can try another one. Yeah, you want to try with some tanks? Sure, we can try one, let me get some mana back here. Let me recharm this guy. I got, I got yours messed. Okay, I'm gonna oh, recharm him. Yeah. Okay, oh, he's back. Him. Yeah, let me get some uh, mana back and bus. Here comes a merc. Yeah, they kill you so fast.
Hmm, let's see, I've got this buff waiting for my cleric buffs. Oh, we lost the other healer merc. Wow. Vicious little things. And I had the charm aura up too. Yep, we're going to click the Eldritch Rune. Miscreet, it is available. Bring in the charm aura up. Hope this helps. Oh, did he break again? You got to be kidding me. Here we go. Flashing him. Yeah, look at how much he breaks. Even in classic, it stays longer. And this, these guys break a lot. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Mine, mine just, he doesn't break much at all. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I got the charm aura up and everything. And you're welcome, uh, Green Toke. Thanks for joining us, as usual. So, we're getting buffs. Yeah, Green Toke, Charm. You know, in, in Torment of Valleys, it didn't break as much. It'd go the distance a lot. But now it's breaking a lot. And I mean really, really fast. It's looking like in Classic where it breaks quite a bit. And my pet, he's only 112. See here, he's only 112. You were saying those permanent buffs in our FX window can be clicked off? Yes, you want to click those off. Because you'll run out of space if not. Yeah, we got to get the J5 Merc. That'll help a little bit. Once I get a little man up. Okay, so everybody, uh, we got our pets together. We can go try to find another Othnir victim. We have no map, so this is just like the good old days. <laughs> Let's go to Crushbone. That's right, Mousetrap. All right, so uh, I'm good enough for, for this. Uh, is everybody ready? Oh! Okay, that's... Uh, whoa, Arcturus. Mezzing your pet. Your pet has been mezzed. There you go. As soon as yours breaks out of charm, we'll be ready to roll out. And I guess it got real cold and the whole lake froze over and probably uh, trapped caloric dar underneath. I'm afraid to even look over here in the uh, AA window. Look at that, I gotta go add on Eldritch Rune. Everybody should have Brills now. Okay, great. So you're with LS. You guys got uh, two healer mercs? No, we only got one because LS doesn't have a healer merc. Okay, one should do it. And since they're undead... And I've got healing spells up. Okay. And I've got undead spells up. And I've got slay undead up. All right. There is a... Um, there should be an Othnir running around here. There's one out there to the east. You want to go ahead and pull him in, uh, Rags? Give him a shot. Let's let Rags get some exercise. Just bring one. Oh, there's another one. Watch out for the other guy. Got it. Let's see how the Paladin does. Okay, bring him back here. Slowing him. Is Ellis a warrior? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna let him taunt him. Let's 
See if I can get these guys an extended target before my pet breaks. Shoot! Whoa! Look at that. Send it in the pet. That doesn't allow the enchanter pet to taunt anymore. You can't make them taunt, which is really a nerf. Jose Sandoval. Welcome back, Jose. Okay, this is much better here. These guys got some hit points. <laughs> yeah, they got a lot. Oh, and there's me pet again. Flashing him. Good work, guys. Very good. That's right, musicals, we definitely do. All right, Tarjar, thanks for joining us. All right, we killed one mob, not bad. Yeah. Yes? I had to push a whole bunch of uh, defensive stuff. Yeah, that's usually how it is. You'll have to each fight. How'd Rags do on, uh, it looks like somebody was doing some good DPS there. Was it Slan did? Uh, I don't know if it was popping. Oh, I got to set it up to see if it's proccing. Yep. Are you able to tank these rags? I think so. I okay. Mean, Ellis, I let Ellis tank that one, but I've got 340k right now. Okay, so try to I tank this other one. Okay. I'm going to bring one over. Uh, going to mess him. Okay, there's your victim out there. Going to blur him so he's all yours. All yours, Rags. Oh, yeah, it's popping. Okay, all right. See how Rags does on him. Hey, holding up pretty good. Hey, not bad. Ah, then in the pet. That's right, musicals. Beaver on steroid. You're so right. All right. Hey, my target of target is in up. Does anybody know the hotkey off the top of their head? Mmm. You have to look in the. Uh, I got killed. What? You got killed? Yeah, Did my strike killer through. just isn't. Okay, popping a uh, res token on you. Only four res tokens used today, so it's a success. You've been rezzed. Okay, we lost Elish. You have no healer, so. Yeah, he still does. My okay. Up. All right. I got That's killed. Good. My healer didn't get killed. Okay, good to hear. That's good. I came back and popped him with a sleigh. <laughs> You're going to need like 50 of those. Yeah, these guys got a lot of HPs because when I pop with a sleigh, it's like 1.5 million. Yeah, they have like 30, 40 million. Elish down. Oh, no. Elish went down. Res tokening him. I'm taunting. They have about the same amount of hit points as the regular TOV mobs. Yeah, I have, yeah, they have a lot. And Bob Dole, got welcome. Again. Okay, two more res tokens coming in. I'll get uh I'll get rags. Popping res token. Six res tokens up. 
Yeah, uh, this is a trash mob. Yeah, the low trash mob, Bob Dole. Welcome aboard, Bob Dole. Okay, they've been rezzed. Yeah, we're going to need... The, I'll tell you what, when we get near the end of this of the afternoon we're stream... Some J5s. <laughs> the J5s, you're going to see they're going to get killed too because we don't have... Uh, we need Merc gear for them. So we'll have J5s without the Merc gear. So probably what's better, if we can, is use a real tank like you and Elish and then just stack up on healer Mercs. So that might be better because you got two tanks. You got Rags and Elish. Each of you go into one group. Each group has three. And we pop three healer mercs. Of course, having a real healer would be good, but the way these guys hit, um, I don't know if we'd be fast enough. Yeah, that's right. We didn't. We just wanted to get the stream up and get the action going. So when this guy breaks, uh, let's see what the time is here. So we could check out another Mine zone. Broke. Okay. Where is he? Okay, uh, flashing him. Okay, let's uh let's blur this guy here. Let's go back to um POK guys. Yay. Yeah, great. Okay, so does everybody here uh have a way back to POK? Uh let's see. Yeah. I got thrown a hero, so I just gotta bring it up. Okay, or we can get um get Zorgo to translocate. translocate. Yep, can you translocate? And head back, POK. I'll be the last to go. I'm going. Yeah, let's go and try another zone. Let's take a look somewhere else. And just take a look around. Uh, we got sleepers and all that. I think we can go to every zone via teleport. Okay, I think I can go back now. Yeah, the old man Thorn will send you everywhere, but he won't bring you back. Yep, I'm gating back. No, I did not get anything. Yeah, uh, 40 year old gamer, it does. It makes it look like I'm moving on the ice, which makes me a little, it makes you a little nauseous. <laughs> you got to turn the graphics down a little. So we're back, and I'm back. I set my bind point near the uh, POK. Um, Tranquility Stone. So. I don't have Throne of Heroes. You should have it. It's in there. Keep looking. It's in there. It's under special. So now. Here, for some reason. Yeah, for some reason, it's not letting me tra cast Translocate on him. Really? And we got a mop us. No, he's indifferent. You should be okay. He's attacking me. What? <laughs> Well, yeah. Oh, no. Well, you don't lose experience. Yeah. Just come on back to POK. Leave your corpse out there. Well, I was trying to get Rag back to POK, but um, my translocate wasn't casting on him for some reason. Rag, you can just kill yourself. You don't lose experience. All right. I popped the Throne of Heroes. I'm coming in. Yeah. Now I need to go to the resupply vendor. By Peridots and all that. Is there a vendor that sells um, gate spells? Uh, yeah, I think Old Man Thorin sells uh, filter translocation. All right. Wow, this is weird going in the guild lobby and nobody in here. Yeah, it looks like some of the other live servers. yeah let's do that everybody should get a healer merc and i'm gonna start disbanding the group get a healer merc and we're gonna split the two tanks up between the two groups so uh we'll put our tourists in one group and revive your merc when it's time was it supposed to make me go through i have a i got a level five you got a j5 a level five yeah. healing merc. Really? Where'd you get it at? I, I can get a level five healer too. Really? Oh, sure. I should do that. Where at? Which one? 
spell. Rip here. Place, right, right by where the uh, the fifty guy. The okay. Let me look. 49. Now, did you click the tab for journeyman, or is it still on beginner? Yeah, you can get an apprentice level five, but you can't get a journeyman. Ah, oh, fooled me. Yeah, you got to get a J five. That you you have a, you have an apprentice. Hey guys, was I supposed to do something special in character creation? No, just make a level one, and then after that, do a forward slash beta buff, and then and then it'll show you the syntax. Oh yeah, I got the apprentice. Oh, I had my hopes up. You want the journeyman? Yeah, get a J one healer merc, and let's get ready. We're gonna go out to the next um, zone. I need to get a resupply uh, vendor. Let me look at these other guys' familiars. I need to buy the peridots. Do I get efficient, efficient, or? No, they should all be reactive. Because we get killed too fast. Okay. We can also, uh, we can get the campfire token too later. But for now, we'll just uh, do this. We're going to show, we're going to check out the other zones. I'm back over by where we first started out by the Planning Tranquility Stone. And welcome aboard Alex Merle out on YouTube. Thanks for joining us tonight. Hey, cats, do we want to buy these trophies? Uh, those are trade skill trophies, I believe. No, one says like trophy of duality. Oh, uh, oh. no, we get dissident, so we'll be okay. So, yeah, we should be all right. Um, that's uh, for duality and decay. Those are for TBM. But since we have dissident, like you'll have a spell like uh, I know the mage has dissident fire. I have dissident reinforcement. And I, I would assume this is all maxed out. Oh, it's only cast dissident reinforcement one. Oh, well, it's better than nothing. And that's for enchanters. That amplifies your spells. So, Arturus, if you haven't done it yet, you want to load beneficial. Right click your open spell gem beneficial combat initiatives and choose level 106 dissident, re dissident reinforcement. Okay, say that again. So right click and open spell gem, go to beneficial combat initiatives and dissident yep. reinforcement. What that does is it like uh, makes your spells critical crit every time. Dissident reinforcement? That's it, dissident reinforcement. Yeah, dissident's the one to, to use. Okay, so there's our Arcturus and Whiskas. Uh, when we get Rags, Rags, we're behind the uh, Plane of Tranquility Stone. We're right near the back of it. Come on over. We'll get together. And you guys just get a J1 healer. Everybody get a J1 healer. And we'll set up the tanks, the teams. I'm here. I was right there. So you have to do forward slash made above the class and then your name? Yep. So let's see. Uh, one, ta one team will have Elish and one will have Rags. So each team gets one tank and each team gets one enchanter. So Rags, you can set up your team. You should take Arcturus because you'll get one enchanter. And I'll take Elish uh, as my tank. Okay, I'm going to disband. Okay, let me invite him. So that'll be my tank. And then we have two DPSs. We have Zorgo and we have Whiskas. I should take Zorgo because... Right, uh, you should have gotten an advice. Okay, inviting Zorgo. And you should take Arc Whiskas. Okay, I'll get Whiskas. Uh, Arc, you should have got an invite. 
Okay, great. Now let me start um, popping um, haste on you guys. Each team. Uh, AF AFK for a few minutes. Okay. Whiskers, you should have got an invite. Are you supposed to add the level at the end? Yeah, add 115 to the end. And it keeps coming back with an error. Space, so it's, it's like uh, if you're watching a stream, it'd be like this. So if you look at it, it's beta buff, space enchanter, space 115. And that's how you do it. All right, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, get out there and uh, let me get your team buffed over there. Does it disconnect you? Yep. And then when you come back in, uh, you'll have everything. In my group, uh, what kind of mercs do you guys have? I have a healer. Everybody should have healers, J1 healers. So you want three three healers then, right? Yep. I'll set them on reactive. What you wanted to make sure they're J1s. What you want to do, somebody breaking into a car out there in the neighborhood. <laughs> so anyway, so what you want to do is I'll have J1s. We're going to depend on our tanks to keep us alive. And that's, we're going to hopefully, hope they can do it. They're going to have to use their disciplines and, and all that's going to be tough. But I think that they'll do better than the J5 Merc because the J5 Merc doesn't have any Merc gear. At least I, they may have it here, but without the J, uh, the Merc gear, the J5 Merc's going to get killed so fast because they only have like 260,000 hit points. And I think as a real tank, you need about 400,000 hit points out here. And Alex, there's only one beta servers, one beta server. So this this should work. Now somebody in my group has a merc that needs to be revived. There you go. And can somebody pop the resupply agent? I need to get some uh, peridots. You're welcome, Alex. Oh, I got Oh, I know where to get him. I'm going to go to the jewelry guy. I'll be right back, guys. I just popped it. Okay, well, I need to He only sells 100. I'm going to be casting this like crazy. I'll be right back. There's a jewelry vendor in the bank. I keep forgetting. And that knocking sound is part of the POK noise here. That's weird. This guy should be... Oh, he is a jewelry vendor. My fish disappeared. You have to he did? Again. Yeah. You got to get him again. And we're going to need a lot of these. Guys, there's a single backpack in the uh, bank. If you're your banker, you can go and get one more extra single eight slot pack. Oh, old man also has paradots. Yeah. Oh, he does. Oh, gosh, I went the long way. Oh, and. Yeah, so um, Alex, uh, all the people that we have are, we got them in earlier, so that was because we need to get uh, classes worked out, who's going to play what. So it might be hard to get people in now because we need to make sure they got good voice quality, they got Discord and all that. And, uh, you know, so we can't really let anybody join in as of yet. Maybe down in the coming days, we'll see. All right, so now this is up. Let's get some haste on people. OK, 
Okay, your group is hasted. What the heck? What happened? The beast lord looks like a troll on the character screen. It, it's reading your mind. You really wanted a troll. Can you even make a troll beast lord? Y that's kind of cool. You're a troll beast lord. I want to do that. I want to be a troll monk. You're lucky. The EverQuest gods have selected you to be the troll beast lord. That's kind of cool. And I got MP2 running with it too. We'll see if it works. Hey, I tried it. It doesn't. It's up for me. Does it show the map? What? It does? Which version did you use? Did you use the live version or did you use the test version? You use the beta version. Oh, there's a beta version? Where'd you get that at? Wow, they were It's a drop down menu on Red Guide's launcher. Oh, really? I'll check it. Hang on. I just closed my screen where I was supposed to pick my character. How do I get that? Oh, back? yeah, it's beta. You're right. Okay, so installing. And my screen up to pick my character. How do I get that back? Uh, I don't know really. Yep, guys, there's a beta version on MQ. Load your MQ up, and you can um, you can go and select from the Red Guides launcher. They had the beta version just came up. I'm gonna I'm installing it now. And uh, Antas, into in in Jetem. Hello, I'm not an EverQuest player. Um, how hard is it again to EQ one at this point in the game? If you're on a TLP server, time lock server, and TAS, it's uh, not too hard. Um, usually you want to get on during the first month. That's when everybody's leveling at your group. Later on at the high level, it's a little harder to get in because everybody's at the high level. Although this server will be interesting because everybody starts at the high level. But I would recommend a time lock server to get in. And David shoots snoots. He did a troll beast lord. Oh man, I want to do like a troll monk. Troll monk would be good. That'd be funny. Or like troll. Well, you can't be a troll enchanter. Like troll wizard would be cool too. Uh, Antas, they don't do any resets. Um, but each year there are new time time lock servers. That is. My recommendation for the best time to enter the game is when a new server comes out. If you get in on a new server, everybody's at your level and it's a fair playing field. So that's the best way because if you get in like uh, now on the time lock servers, there's so many high, everybody's pretty much high level. There'll be nobody to group with at the low level. Okay, I got the rune up this time. Yeah, now my wife's going to be mad at me for buying three more accounts. Just buy one. Just try one. Okay, so we got rags here waiting for everybody, the rest of the guild to come over. If anybody needs to be bound here, I can bind you at this spot in my guild. Let me go ahead. Okay, I can bind. Let's see who else here. Zorgo can bind himself. Elish is not here. We'll wait. How am I a troll beast lord? That is kind of cool, a troll beast lord. That's way cool. It's weird because I have a shield. You can do a race change back. I, I was just keeping you in the dark for a little while. And Antas, uh, if there's new servers, well, they always have pop. Yeah, planes of power, definitely. They'll start from the beginning and work all the way up. And some servers start from different X packs, Antas. Uh, I was on Celos and it started from Luckland, which was very cool. Miracle started from House of Thule. So some start from the beginning, some start. They're all a little bit different, so it's kind of cool. Okay, okay. I'm did you come with all this armor, the Adamant Triumphant Cloud Dragon Brew yep. armor? Yep. All yours. And it already had all these odds in it to keep them. 
you can keep them. Um, you can buy new augs. It'll take you about an hour to buy augs and new gear. You're basically going to get the tier two gear. Uh, you get the buy the beta fish from Old Man Thorn by the Tranquility Stone. And when you buy the beta fish from him, you'll be able to right click it and it'll pop up a vendor. And so Antas, uh, I'd say the best way to start now, if you were going to start now, uh, Eridun is probably the best server to start. But it's, uh, you'll have to see if it's a little late. They're still in Kunark, so that means there'll still be some low-level people out there. And it depends on your play style and your play time. If you're a kind of player that wants a group, then that's probably your best bet. If you want to play just as a f by yourself for free, pick any of the live servers, that, but you'll have to solo most of the time or get a Merc. So, Is that playing playing the knowledge? Yep, playing the knowledge by the Tranquility Stone. I think Dark Elf Pally would be kind of cool. This is the one server where you could do that. You just do what uh, Sinjin did there, and you may turn out like a Dark Elf Pally. I keep doing it until you. it turns out like no Troll Pally or Ogre Pally would be so cool. I think I'm going to do that. But later on, I'm going to make an Ogre Pally. That is so wrong. Yeah. So wait a minute. Like Trolls can be Beast Lords. So are you saying that you can be a race that's doesn't fit with your class see how it when you when you do beta buff it changes it to a random class and if you keep doing that and deleting the character you may end up with like a troll pally <laughs> this would be kind of cool i think that'd be awesome to run around and antas out there um new servers usually come out anywhere from march to may okay. next week all right so antas yeah you want to look at march to may uh next year I will have to wind up the stream for a little while in about a 40 minutes or so. So we're going to check out some other zones and uh, then we're going to decide whether we're going to come back tonight or if we're going to do our planes of power raids. And we'll see, but we'll see how everybody's doing. It looks like it's a lot of fun so far. And welcome, okay. Antas. I got MQ2 up. Oh, yeah, me too. Let me check here. Yep, I got mine working. Yeah, I just launched it. Okay, good. Let's see. I think I have to up, update the net, the meshes for the MQ2 nav to work somehow. Well, yeah, the thing is, is they don't have the zones made yet, so there's probably no mesh. Yeah, there's and you guys no are mesh. launching while in game. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if camera works. Nope, camera uh, doesn't work. Get ready, this map is going to lag the computer. Check out the map. Woo, wow. Here's the map. You can see everybody. But we'll, it'll be nice to see the other zones. But remember, we don't have the maps. So. Look at all the purple dots. <laughs> yeah, and the amount of people in the zone, let's check. Too, too many to count. And no monk musicals would be very cool. Now, as an enchanter, you can cast the illusion on other um, classes to turn them into monk or whatever. Like, I could make troll monk, but yeah. Okay, so waiting for Elish to come back, and then we'll be about ready to go. Let's check Zorgo's mana. He's got, yep, he's got regen. We'll have to buy mer uh, mounts later, too. Time to go ahead and buy the AAs. When you get back, Elish, let us know. We'll be ready to go. So the things I'm going to get here, 
But one important one is the rune is so important because I'm just getting my face ripped right off. So this will increase that. And let's get the Eldritch rune. We need to increase, increase this. Because they are at two hitting me. And only nine AAs left. So let's see, where should we go next? Um, we have, there's Western Waste we could always try. Uh, they have the Sleeper's Tomb. We could actually go to each zone and check it out, I think. That, I think that would be cool. Just pop in and check it out. Okay. Okay, I got about 40 minutes left, so uh, 45 minutes or so. And then I got to be offline for a little while. Got to eat lunch and do a couple things. And then we'll determine if we're going to come back tonight. If you guys are enjoying yourselves and everybody likes what's going on, we can do that. All right, guys. So whoever we have here, is everybody here? If you're not here, let's go check out some of the other zones. We don't have to kill anything. So let's take a vote. Do you guys want to go to Western Ways? Do you want to go to Sky Shrine? Uh, Temple let's of Let's see Vision. what Sky Shrine looks like. Okay. I mean, that's got usually a lot of dragons. This would be cool. Yeah, if it's anything like the real one, we're in for a long walk. Okay, let's check out Sky Shrine. Let me go to Old Man Thorn. Go into Sky Shrine. Yeah, we should check out Western Waste next, and there's Dragon Necropolis. Giving you guys the zone tour. Okay, heading to Sky Shrine. Yep, landing in Sky Shrine. Let's hope we don't get jumped. And here we are. Oh, wow, I'm so small. This is a different looking Sky Shrine. So oh, this is different. I've never shown up in Sky Shrine in a library before. Yeah. Let's see how many people we have in zone. Six players only. Okay, so let's check around the zone. Let's pop the map. Okay, uh, there's no architecture of the zone, but it shows where every um, thing is. All the aggros. Yeah, a lot of glowing globes on the ground. Hamsters. There's some, I hate uh, to say this, I'm going to need to log for a little bit. i got some family things going on. All right, no problem. Okay. We'll go ahead and disband you. Okay. I'm seeing apprehensive agents. I'll try to be back as soon as I can. Okay, we'll be off, probably off the air in 40 minutes. A wary apprentice. Ooh, this stuff is KOS to us. Stoic journey. All right. Okay, are we coming back tonight at on beta? I'll tell you what, we'll do a vote for it. And if you guys want to see us come back on beta and, and the teams here want to come back tonight, then we'll be back tonight. So what do the people out in the streams want to see? What's that guy's name again? Old Man Thorin. So we'll take a vote out there for the people back in the stream. Do you want to see Planes of Power? tonight like the regular raid progression we've been doing or do you want to see beta tonight uh, see more zones in beta okay so mousetrap wants to see more beta And sideburns welcome aboard. So let's see where we are. There's a rat coming here. It's KOS again. Oh, wow. Or he's somewhere. Maybe he's above us. Beta fish of group T2. Yeah, group T2. Actually, the TS one has better stuff. If you keep summoning it, you will get a different one. Okay, so we got another vote for beta. So two votes for beta. 
Okay, there's a critter that's yellow just around the corner from us. Uh oh. Oh no, he's not doing anything, but Nick Truitt voted for beta. Eco Salt that said, What are our options for planes of power tonight? Well, I was thinking on um trying Agnar, you know, uh Bastion of Thunder. I was able to get my mage up there. She didn't have the key, but what the way I did is I got my shaman in the same group. He was keyed. He clicked on the um the electrical thing in the middle of the courtyard she clicked it right away after that and she got in when she tries to click it without him clicking it she can't get in so my mage was able to get up to the next stage if we get into the next stage we don't need to you know we're there we can't call a hero people up to that stage in the tower to the tower toward tower but if we get him in that way it'll work okay so let's see who we have here i just have elish okay so i'll, I'll be Oh, Elish is here. Good. Okay, so Elish. Got a whole group. You want to try and take this one guy down? Which guy is that? Oh, this uh, tenured uh, mentor or whatever. Okay, we don't have an enchanter pet yet. Wow, he looks vicious. He's single. What's the best you can get volume infused? Yeah. Yeah. Well, where are these little hamster pets when we need them? Look at all these corpses here. It's, that's not bad. He's probably doable. Uh, everybody getting in uh, range of him? He is in... Let's see if he can... Let's see. Whoa! Who's that? Curse pulled the... He doesn't see Inviso. What? Whoa! Hold on. Okay, we're fighting him now? I guess. Okay, I don't have a a pet or anything. Well, not that's gonna matter. Let's go ahead and drop some dots on him. Get ready for a long fight. Where'd my uh, healer go? He probably got killed. Oh, that's not good. Elish is getting hit. Good. Let me pop rune. Okay, it's gonna be about a, a long fight. These guys are not undead. Get ready for some vicious stuff. Ooh, what was that? Ouch, that hurt. Yep. Oh, I'm getting hit. Cool screenshots. Back to the action. And Jonathan uh, out there says, continue to beta. Sure thing. Beta it is, guys. We'll be hitting the beta. Looks like, I think the reason why is um, we need to get more action going on. A lot of us spent most of the time on the stream here just getting set up. And I noticed this guy doesn't see Inviso. So that's a good sign. We can probably cast Inviso. Like I mentioned before, yeah, this game, this zone looks a lot better for a 40-year-old gamer. Is that the thing about this is that um, every mob here feels like a raid encounter. They really do. Let's keep nuking away. And someday he'll die. Popping dissident. Here goes the nuke. After I pop dissident, check out the nuke hit. Um, 300,323 double hit. And here's the next one, Mind Slash. Hitting for 285. And Mind Drift. Hits for 88 without Dissident. Without a Dissident, hits for a lot less. Well, oh, holding up there, Alice. Doing a good job. And look at my mana usage. Good thing we meditate fast. Wow.
And just going through the cycle. Some of those raid mobs would kill faster than this guy. But you know, I've only used five res tokens, so that's pretty good. When TOV came out, I was using a whole lot more. And down he goes. Yes! One Wervin down. Woof, half a bar of mana. Just like in classic. Of a lost enchanter. Oh, it's a collectible. Ooh, cool. Clicky. And I've already collected it. Oh, wow. Let's see if the camera controls work. Nope, camera controls are not enabled on this. It would be cool, but I can use cast sight. So while we met up, let me um, use I'm cast sight. I'm to leave on corpse, guys, in case anybody wants it. Yeah, if anybody wants it. So let's use cast sight, and let's go ahead and spy around the uh, zone. We can't, um, we're not able to uh, use the camera control, so we'll go like this. And let's use this guy here. Let's see if I can cast sight on him. There you go, I can. This is the other part of Sky Shrine you can see there. When you use cast sight, thing I like about the enchanter is you can do this and you can switch to that guy and you can cast sight and just move around like this. So it does look like the regular Sky Shrine. Yeah, let's go down there. Ooh, look at these corpses over there. Oh my. And one thing about these guys is they may be hard to mess. Look at them. There's two here. You gotta have a way to split them. Whoa, corpses everywhere. Check it out. Oh, look at this. It's a tenured mentor. This must be a higher level zone. These guys only made it this far. Let's see. Dude, dude, uh, Duder's corpse. And Nukesterix. We should ask him what happened here. Big warrior man. He's a... Are we going upstairs? Uh, not sure yet. It looks pretty hard. I'm looking on cast site. There's a lot of mobs packed in here. This would be like, you're going to get a lot of three pulls and stuff. Let's check the other area of the map. Let's check what this guy's doing here. Maximilian, let's spy on him. Uh, these dragons are probably, let's follow this guy, they're probably live. So let's watch Maximilian here. What is he? He's a hamster. He's going upstairs. This is the best way to get a tour, just watch him. And Hellbot is this thing. He's a rogue, probably. Yep, he's a rabbit rogue. That's why he can go do his own tour. Look at this here. And he went over there. There's another door. Oh, boy. Yeah, this will be tough um, for us, especially with the three in there. Hey, welcome, Bosha. And, Bosha, there is a link that you click. Oh, look at this nice little thing. So Bosha, click the link in the beta, uh, in the, the Discord channel we set up, and get that to work. Then you got to pre-order the uh, beta expansion. Once you do that, you'll be able to check it out. If you check the very first part of the video, it'll show you how to all the setup. It'll take about an hour or so. That's right, Sideburns. This is the best way to get the zone tour. Uh, this is going to be rough, guys. Look at all the corpses laying all over the place. Just everywhere. Corpses, corpses. Big hamster. And this guy is just checking the zone out. Yeah, very voyeuristic. It looks like Sky Shrine. So I hope they don't have the Sky Shrine maze in here because if they do, that'll be hard. And have a good day at work. And there, there he is. He's... uh. Shadows of Doom. Okay, so enough of him. Let's see. I don't see any bosses in the zone. 
I'm looking at the uh, list here and there are no bosses or maybe they haven't been put in there yet somebody named Negrith oh, let's see what Negrith is doing Negrith the troll or ogre I think he's a GM oh he's a GM whoa hello how are you doing there there you go and where is he going he's checking out maybe he's picking up corpses yeah, he's a he's a GM. All right. See how he's doing. You're an ogre, I see. Keeps hiding from me. Hello. How are you? You need to see the dentist. There he is. He walked right by me. Oh, that's funny. Okay, so he's checking the zone out. There you go. Okay, so there it is. Yeah, the GMs are always out on the first day. And they are checking out everybody. He's over to check out Arcturus. Making sure Arcturus has got his clothes on tightly. So guys, uh, we've taken a look at this zone. Um, let me come back over here. You want to check out the other zone? It basically looks like the regular Sky Shrine. So we have about half an hour before I have to wind it up. Do you want to try out this? Check out the other zones. Oh, the bad sure. guy. Okay, so let's see. We don't have a wizard, so you guys are going to have to go back to POK. You can either get back there by killing yourself, which is the fastest, or if you have gate potions. I got gate potions. Anybody need a gate potion? We're going to try another zone. We're going to try... Let's try Western Waste. We'll start from the bottom and move up. All right, and back we are. So next uh, zone, let's do a couple zones real quick because we want to experience all the zones that we're coming back to for tonight. I'm going to go to Western Waste. Heading to Western Waste, guys. Wow, I just fell. Oh wow, there's a dragon over there. Frosted Dracolich, oh my gosh. This looks way cool. 112, I wonder if he's charmable. Another Frosted Dracolich. He'll probably kill me before I figure out if he's charmable. Says he's a 112, huh? Yeah. Question is, is it, are they charmable? Let's see. Uh, okay, you guys got your healers, and I'm waiting for a leash, and we'll be ready. Uh, that'd be nice. Uh, Ark's coming in. All right. Uh, who, whose healer is uh, Hirani? Is that Ark's? Um, no, that's mine. Whiskers. Okay, I got one healer. Your team will be the main team. Wow, like an undead Dracolich. Can, can you activate him? If we're going to pull a Dracolich in. There we go. Check out the zone here. Uh, what do we have? Don't see any named up yet. A gnomish pirate. Wow. There's pirates out here. How cool. Crazy Poops Corpse. I see somebody this named... This is a big zone. Yep, it is a big one. An Exiled Kedge. 
because I'm like 350 to that Dracolich, and that looks tiny on the map. Yeah. Okay, guys, let's see here. Do we want to take him? Popping the rune. Let me get rune up. We're gonna try. I'm gonna try to charm one of these. Right here. Okay, get ready for the fun and games. Hold on a second here. Uh, let me get the aura up, the charm aura. I don't know if they're charmable. They're probably not. But whilst you never know. Okay, so let's see if we get one that's kind of close to us. Uh, let's try the easy one. He's 112. He's over to the, the west here. Why don't we try this guy here? Everybody, let's go to this guy here. First, let's see if he's mezzable. Nope. Okay, let me try to charm him. Charmed him. Whoa. Okay, oh, let's nice. see. Well, That's let's see. He'll only hit for 8k, though. Okay, so where's the next uh, Dracula? Let's just get the guy on the other side over here. Let's go to this side, to the east. Send the pet on. Draculich versus Draculich. You're going to see he only hits for... Oh, he's undead! Yeah, my Draculich is only hitting for 8k. So he's nerfed. Whoa, is that another Draculich coming by? Oh, oh, uh oh. That's my pet. Okay, great. These are not permissible, right? No, I wasn't able to. God, they got a ton of stuff. I've hit him with six slay undead so far, and it's barely moving. Yeah, you're gonna need to hit him about like 30 of those slay undeads. We got two enchanter pets on him, so. Hope that works. That's number eight. No, oh, yeah. We got another Drac. Is that yours? Mm, yep, he got me. Uh oh. Uh, can't mez him. Nope. Uh, cannot be mesmerized. Try to go oh, for a slow. Everybody in my group's dead except for Whiskers and me. Yeah. Let me try to send an enchanter pet on him. We lost Ark. Let me see. Okay, trying to pop a res token on him. 147 distance. Let me get closer to him. Resing you. Hope we have time to do this. Arc's been res. I'm gonna die. Pop your defenses if you have it. Oh, come on, guys. <laughs> oh, there I went. Arc's pet took me down. Okay. Tokening you. Yeah. You charmed him good. Or, okay, Rag's been rezzed. Only challenge is we gotta wait about four minutes now for our uh, healers to come back. Yeah. Let me see, this other pet will be Ark's well, that pet. That was a good battle. Yeah, the stuff it hits crazy hard. I think I must have procked 15 times. Wow. They probably have about minimum of like 30 million hit points, I'd say. Minimum. If you hit, if you proc 15 times, they have about 50 million hit points. We don't have a parser, but uh, if we did, we could see. Good, good screenshot here. Well, you know, I only use seven res tokens, so that's a, that's a good sign. 
Oh, that's my pet. You bad pet. Don't kill me yet. Come on, come on. Got him. I think I'm gonna try to root and recharm. That may be the only way. I think he's rootable. But if he's not rootable, then it's it's not even worth charming anything out here. Elish held up pretty good with two pets. I mean two healer mercs. So that's a good recipe there. And Ark, I keep polycascading Rune up and Elder Rune and Veil Mind Shadow up all the time. Okay, sending my pet on. Let me try to root him. Root landed. You can root and recharm as long as he doesn't summon you. There you go. Yeah, I put my root up too. Oh, that's me again. Trying to recharm. Come on. Hey. I got him recharmed. I just go for recharm real fast. He's got such a big hitbox. Wow. And I just got to rely on the runes to save us. Let me get the other rune up. So you just got to go rune, root, and recharm. Uh, if he summons, the root's not going to be a big deal. It's not going to make much of a difference. Just polycascading rune. That protects me for about one hit. Oh, not again. You got to be kidding me. Let me root and back up. Trying to recharm him. Don't kill the Merc. Got him. Wow. Charm breaks a lot. Uh, and cats, can you make uh, Elish uh, MA? Sure thing. Cats, anybody in your group need um, uh, uh, Brels? Oh, uh, we're good. Alright, so now the problem is, is we've got these pets here. We want to go back to POK and see one more zone before I have to wind it down. What we should do is separate the pets and um, uh, the people that the melee should go back first. And that the enchanters should just separate and uh, gate back when they get a chance. Like I'll move over here. So Elish, uh, let's go ahead and head back to POK. We're going to try one more zone. Okay, heading back. Yeah, and then the enchanters go last. Ark, I'm separating by this much. My pet doesn't want to follow me. Oh, my pet's rooted. Okay, is everybody yeah, out? That must be a pretty good route you guys hit him with, because 
Gonna gate back now. Okay, prepare to gate. Back to POK. Yeah. It's a good route. Uh, use greater fetter. And it's good that at least we can root this. But if they summon, you know, that doesn't help a lot. Okay, we're back. So let's see. We didn't do Eastern Waste yet, did we? No, that's a TOV zone. We, we don't need to do that one. Let's try... Um, I'm going to wait till everybody's here. See, we did Sky Shrine. Sky Shrine. Um, that was Western Waste. We should do the very uh, next one. Necropolis. Okay, we can do Dragon Necropolis. Yeah, we didn't do that one. Okay, Dragon Necropolis is next. Here we go. Now it'll oh, be interesting. You can remove lockouts too. That's cool. Yeah, that's if you have a raid lockouts. But we don't know where what the quests are. Sometimes on a beta form they mention what the quests are, and that helps a lot because then we can just get right to it. Okay. okay. Dragon Necropolis, we head there. Yep, looks like the regular Dragon Necropolis. Alakazam and Tamuka have died here. Another gigantic zone. A massive Draculich, that's the boss. Rare creature level 119, oh boy. That's going to be probably an hour long fight. Yep, and that's the only boss. It'll be a few days, I guess, before they start adding in more of the named or itemizing the stuff. I just got these spiders here. Phase spiders level 114. Let me get your team with Rune. Man, these things are packed in in some of these areas. So now when, when beta's over, do you get to keep uh, the 115 character? Um, no, it's only for the beta server. It stays here. So you'll have to get on to the, the server and, and level up. If you're on the test server, we can level you up pretty quickly. Okay. Which means all this cool Velia stuff that you have for gear. <laughs> Give it a little cry and say goodbye to it. <laughs> well, we're on the test server. We have a lot of this stuff. There's a lot of... Yeah. I, Daisy puts up a lot of ice encrusted stuff. So we have pretty much a gear. Like my character right here... At 260,000 hit points, this is about the same group level gear that I am on the test server. Yeah, I'm pretty close to Rag. I mean, I think he's like close to 300k without any buffs on the test server. And he's close to 300 here also. Oh, I got a quest here. This okay. guy, it's called These Old Bones, Kill Dracolich. Uh, let's see, what is it? It says... Uh, Stray, slay a Draculich abomination wandering the surfaces. Okay, so we need a Draculich abomination. It doesn't say what the reward is. The rewards aren't in yet. So, abomination, let's see. I don't know where they are. Let's see. Are you yellow ones? Draculich? Yeah, call it Draculich abomination. Maybe it's not in yet. I don't think they're in yet. Yep. It can't be massive Draculich. Yeah, right now, musicals, you're right. It's We get poop rocks for rewards, but uh, 
Yeah, it's probably going to come in there. They got the quest. So one cool quest to do, that's a solo task. There's undead here. Ooh, wow. Well. Ooh, nice. We got something on aggro. We got a spade, spade, spade. I missed it. Okay, great. Let me ch go ahead and pick up... Uh, Slow this guy, Ellis just went down. Oh boy, we're gonna need to charm him. As slow as he is. Gotcha. Oh, there's another one right there too. Okay, good, he charmed one. Okay, we'll wait for you to break charm. Let me get a uh, token off. Rezzing Ellis. So he's up. put my pet on extended we'll try this got about 10 minutes and then I'm gonna have to wind up so let's try for a kill around here whoops gotta be kidding me this guy here flashing him and I'm dead come on dead wow okay need a token res thank you yeah, that was pretty quick. Killed me in three seconds. Thank you. Good job, Whiskers. Okay. Get some mana together here. Another spider out there. Let me try to get the other spider. Whoop, that didn't work either. Trying to charm him again. Come on. Well, the good was he was on the pet for quite a while. Okay, now he's back. Oh, I was purple there. <laughs> Arcura, send your pet in. If you can. Okay, let me get some dots on this guy here. Don't have a lot of mana, but we'll make do with what we've got. Gonna take a while. The musicals, the healer mercs aren't the brightest, but at least three of them should keep a group up, or at least a tank up. Hope we can kill this guy. Well, it does look kind of cool in a way. I'd say the pacing is similar to classic where it takes a long time to kill the mob.
Oh, one thing I noticed too, cats also is uh, we got pretty high luck content right now too. I looked at mine. I think I'm like 84. That's really good. We'll need every bit of it. Really are gonna need it because we need to get lucky criticals to make up for the damage. Uh, make up for the DPS. These guys have a lot of hit points. It seems like the other guys who are fighting were easier. I hope my pet doesn't break before he... No, my pet's got five minutes. That's doing good. He's uh, not hardly getting hit. Yeah, he, he's got a lot of hit points. I gotta get the auras back. Okay, we killed him. Good. Yay! What a drop. So, nothing. no, nothing. They're not itemized yet. So, we got to get ready to wind up the stream. Um, the popular vote has been for more of this tonight. So, we will be back tonight for episode two. We're going to check out the other zones and show you what else is going on. Let me get my rune back up. Wow, just getting mauled out here. But it is good. It's at least you're getting mauled with your friends. So it's a much better experience. And the other two uh, zones we're going to be seeing tonight are going to be Sleeper's Tomb and Temple of Vishen. So make sure the enchanters move the pets all the way over to the corner so we can gate out. Everybody else, uh, gate out. We'll see you tonight. And but he got killed. Oh, that's okay. That's a faster way back to be okay. See you all back in uh, Claws of Vishen tonight for part two of this stream. Have a great day and make sure you come back probably about 8 p.m. Pacific time. That's in about five, let me see, two, five hours.